Alcohol Withdrawal Symptoms The Start of Alcohol Withdrawal Symptoms If you have met with an alcoholic or have ever been one you would well understand the struggles that come with this phase of someone's life. Whether it's you, your spouse or your friend the constant worry and frustration are notwithstanding. When it comes to alcoholism, most people find it hard to get out of its grip. Not because they love doing it but because they are scared of the aftermath of doing so. Some do it for the love of the bottle while others just want to find an easier way to channel what they are going through. Congratulations on your first step to recovery it might look hard and painful but with little guidance, you will overcome the situation. What is alcohol withdrawal? It's known better as alcohol withdrawal syndrome which is the effects or impacts when a heavy drinker stops consuming it all of a sudden. This may be due to stopping it completely or drastically reducing the amount of alcohol you consume. Most people would assume the condition is only physical. However, the impact also affects one psychologically. So don't assume the symptoms of a person going through this. Signs you might be having alcohol withdrawal symptoms. What shows you are going through alcohol withdrawal syndrome and not anything else? If you have suddenly stopped using or interacting with your bottle and realize the following. Hallucination and seizure for extreme cases. Tremor sometimes nausea or vomiting. Frequent migraines. Increased heart rate and too much sweating. Confusion or maybe feeling irritable. High blood pressure or lack of sleep most of the time. If this symptom is not coming down but rather increasing, then you should seek medical assistance. Sometimes these symptoms might just be mild meaning your body is dealing well with its condition. However, it might go in its extremes leading to more serious issues. One of the worst conditions led by this is delirium. This may include you, behaving extremely confused and agitated getting severe seizures and hallucinations. You might actually be assuming a very serious problem. When it comes to alcoholic withdrawal symptoms, they may either increase or reduce gradually depending on the phase at which you were in. So it is highly important to be around people while going through this phase of your life. Causes of alcoholic withdrawal condition You might actually think that you are having fun consuming that glass of your most favorite scotch. You are actually poisoning your body with it. When we get used to and taking alcohol, we tend to become dependent on it. The drink goes ahead to do both bad and good. How? By irritating and exciting your system. After a while, you can't get enough of it. So you get used to it. But if you suddenly reduce the amount or stop using the amount your body is used to completely that is where the alcoholic withdrawal condition come in. People who are used to too much alcohol are at a high risk of getting this condition. It will mostly affect adults of about 35 years and above. However, it can also affect anyone who consumes alcohol way too much. More than 8 drinks of alcohol per week can be said to be heavy drinking. Most people are used of taking up to 6 drinks at one sitting that is one of the biggest issues of drinking. A physician will know your condition by going through your history and your symptoms. It is highly important that you be honest so as to get maximum assistance. Through tests, you can be diagnosed positive or negative to it. Causes of alcoholic withdrawal condition You might actually think that you are having fun consuming that glass of your most favorite scotch. You are actually poisoning your body with it. When we get used to and taking alcohol, we tend to become dependent on it. The drink goes ahead to do both bad and good. How? By irritating and exciting your system. After a while, you can't get enough of it. So you get used to it. But if you suddenly reduce the amount or stop using the amount your body is used to completely that is where the alcoholic withdrawal condition come in. People who are used to too much alcohol are at a high risk of getting this condition. It will mostly affect adults of about 35 years and above. However, it can also affect anyone who consumes alcohol way too much. More than 8 drinks of alcohol per week can be said to be heavy drinking. Most people are used of taking up to 6 drinks at one sitting that is one of the biggest issues of drinking. A physician will know your condition by going through your history and your symptoms. It is highly important that you be honest so as to get maximum assistance. Through tests, you can be diagnosed positive or negative to it. How best to cope with alcoholic withdrawal symptoms? When it comes to this condition, you don't have to feel embarrassed. This is the first step towards recovery. In fact, you should feel proud of yourself. Make sure to be around people who care for you. You can even try joining support groups to get more moral and emotional support through this phase. This will enable you have smooth transition. Be open to your doctor. This will enable the doctor to get a clear picture about your condition. Don't miss going to your doctor's appointments and checkups. It helps reduce the bumps on the way to your recovery. Don't ever skip your medication so as to quicken your recovery process. Come up with a daily routine. This may include doing some exercise, maybe going for yoga classes or even joining a book club. This helps you relieve yourself of any kind of loneliness. Have healthy meals, 
meditate and make sure to take cold showers frequently. This enables you to reduce the adverse impact of the condition you are going through. That being said, it is highly important that you be proud of your current decision. Understand that getting out of alcoholism is a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. Be kind to yourself and give yourself time to heal. You have to remember that any step backwards might actually result to you being affected more. It may even lead to more body and psychological harm than before. Being sober isn't easy that is why it is highly insist that you get yourself a recovery support group. Don't be alone or a problem shared is half solved. Find yourself in this journey and get other positive alternatives to alcohol. Remember that you are no alone in this. Most people have overcome this struggle. Take one step at a time. Don't push yourself too hard lest you get too frustrated and stressed. Give yourself the time that you need to actually heal. If you haven't stopped yet start doing it gradually. In no time you would have completely stopped using it completely. If you have been doing 10 bottles reduced to 8, then 6, then, 4, then 2 then finally none. We all understand a journey of a thousand steps starts with one. Always remember the goal is to emerge victorious on the finishing line. Visit our website for details on courses on how to prevent alcohol relapse. Click on the link below in the description to go straight to our site. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel new videos added every week.